This is what it looks like when the spotted lanternfly is taken over. Hundreds of thousands of them sucking the sap out of trees and vines, spraying their excrement everywhere, which then grows mold, destroying trees, crops, and property. The flies were first discovered almost five years ago in Berks County, Pennsylvania, and have grown outwards at a rate of 10 miles a year. They have the potential to destroy the Keystone State's wine, craft beer, wood, and apple products. Industries that tally up to $18 billion. The Department of Agriculture is calling the spotted lanternfly the worst invasive species the U.S. has seen in the last 150 years. And experts say that's not an exaggeration. The spotted lanternfly is thought to have arrived on a shipment of landscaping stone from Asia in 2014. Native to China, India, and Vietnam, the invasive spotted lanternfly hatch in the spring. The Department of Agriculture is trying to get ahead of that. My name is Albert Chikoro, and I am the FIPA 2 Forest Insect Pest Aid 2 at the Boyertown Spotted Lanternfly Office. It's Albert and his colleagues' job to destroy spotted lantern eggs before they hatch. Here you see the lanternfly egg mass, and here I'm using my hunting knife to scrape these eggs into this alcohol. These eggs are viable. Each time one scrapes an egg mass like this, one is destroying 30, 40, 50 uh, spotted lanternflies, which of course will each be 30, 40, 50 more next year. Experts and government officials are baffled by the staggering numbers of lanternflies that are killing crops and destroying businesses in central and southeastern Pennsylvania. I just saw a bug, it freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a butterfly. This is Shannon Powers, press secretary of the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. Her uneasiness around flying bugs is understandable. They cover everything. They are a menace. Um, there are so many of them, they're thick and you can't count them. Oh, it's, it's almost impossible for, for, for me to describe the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of insects swarming over an area at once. The sheer amount of them that you see on trees is bad enough but we haven't gotten to the worst part. Honeydew. That's the name given to the spotted lanternfly's excrement, and there's a lot of it. That's because they are inefficient metabolizers and need to take in a lot of sap and pass along a high percentage of that to get the nutrients they require. It's so much, people near an infested tree describe it as rain. Sometimes when one is under a tree that's being fed on heavily by lanternflies, it actually will occlude your vision. The, 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 the honeydew, the exudate from the bug, can be so dense that it appears as a rain-like vision in front of your eyes, such that it actually obscures your ability to see. The honeydew and mold can cover plants rendering their fruit disgusting, but also can kill the plants by blocking their ability to photosynthesize. If overrun, growers could lose their entire harvest, as well as future harvests in just one season. And the problem is that the spotted lanternfly has no natural predators here. Nothing seems to be eating them, not even chickens. There have been a couple studies where chickens have been fed, chickens will eat anything, right? and chickens won't eat them. There's some talk and research going into potentially bringing in their natural predators, but that may not solve the problem while creating new ones in the process. Someone asked, why don't you just bring in a horde of praying mantises and unleash it on them? You have to be careful as you're trying to control an insect that you don't wipe out other beneficial insects, that you don't destroy plants, that you don't, for example, jeopardize your pets or your children. So what is being done? La just last year, we spent more than $20 million on uh, research to find out how this insect is going to behave, what might work to control it, on, uh, on actually getting out and removing the Alanthus trees that it feeds on, the Tree of Heaven, um, and treating areas. On top of that, there's a quarantine for businesses in the counties where the lanternfly is most prevalent. Business owners are required to obtain a permit instructing them what needs to be done before shipping goods out of these counties. The fear is that if the growth of the lanternfly isn't curbed, these businesses could see an embargo. That would be financially devastating. The spotted lanternfly directly threatens $18 billion of 
popular things like tree fruits, like apple and peach and wine, hops and hardwoods. And they're all tremendously important to our economy in Pennsylvania. And residents have to do their part too. Lanternflies can lay their eggs pretty much anywhere. So look on decks, lawn mowers, your car, all over. If it's still spring, you can eliminate the eggs before they hatch. The lanternfly is also invasive in South Korea and going mostly unchecked, they spread across the whole country in just two years. Right now, there have been sightings of the lanternfly in New York, New Jersey, Delaware, and Virginia, but no established populations have been reported. Let's hope Pennsylvania is able to contain these bugs before they destroy the plant and tree population of this entire region. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you hit that little bell so that you get notifications for when Cheddar posts its new content. We have so much fun stuff coming. Please keep watching.